guys, happy Hikeathon day 13. This is the beginning of a new reading vlog. In case you missed it, I will link the other ones down below in the description as well as up in the cards. It is 5 p.m. on Saturday, but I do have some footage from earlier today that I will share with you now of us taking a really fun hike in a new area that Jeff hadn't been to before. So we're gonna play that now and then I will see you in a minute. It was like an hour and 15 minutes, so it was a decent hike. I would like to get at least one more in this weekend. I know tomorrow we're gonna go over to my parents, so I'm not sure if we're gonna do it tomorrow or Monday, but I wanna end the readathon off on such a good note. So far, this might be my favorite readathon I have ever done. I'm just enjoying the weeks so much. I've been good about getting the vlogs up fairly on time. I've been reading a lot. I've been doing so many hikes, going to new areas. I've been loving my book. We have so many fun people participating, and it has just been so much fun. It's just brought me like a lot of joy in multiple different ways. So I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am because I am loving it and I'm hoping we can continue this throughout the rest of the year. So reading updates. First of all, I finished Warrior of the Wild, which I don't think I talked about in the last vlog, and I really, really enjoyed it. This was a solid four star. It would have been a five star except the beginning was just a little bit slow and I felt like it took a little bit to kind of understand the world and everything that was happening. It was like fast paced, but it felt a little slow because I didn't fully understand what was happening but I really liked it. Trisha Levenseller's female leads are so good. Her romances are so fun and just overall was like a great adventure vibe. It was perfect for Hikeathon because it was set in the wilderness and they were like camping and doing things to survive outdoors. So I really loved it. I'm loving so many books that I'm finding that have these nature vibes that I've been looking for for years and they're ones that are like contemporary fantasy all different kinds so it's just been so fun to find so many reads that are the vibes that I want for Hikathon. So this is a great one to add to your list for next year if you haven't already checked it out. That Trisha Levenseller is now firmly one of my very favorite authors. I only have two more books to read from her that I haven't checked out yet so another fabulous read done. I started this book at the end of the last reading vlog and I got an hour into it so far. This is a longer audio. It's 11 hours, but I'm really liking it. This has got a fantasy element, but it's also about like climbing Everest and there's dragons in here and I'm really enjoying it so far. But I also had a buddy read. So I started, I think it's called Small Game, picture right here. My friend Marie actually introduced this to me as her next read and I loved the photo. And when I looked it up, it said it was about a wilderness survival competition that goes wrong. And I was like, what? That is like the perfect thing that I want for Hikathon. I now have three books that are about like a wilderness survivor type competition show where something goes wrong and it's like one of my favorite tropes ever and I am loving it so far. The nature vibes and the competition and everything is so fun. I'm only like an hour in but it's a pretty short audio. I know I can get these two done over the next two and a half days hoping I can do one more short read as well 
We'll just have to see. And then I'm still physically reading Revenge in the Wild. I am 50 pages in, so I need to read some more of this today. I'm hoping to finish this for the readathon as well. I'm still very much enjoying it. It's still very wild and fun with the fantasy element and the Western element and the magic, and it's, oh, it's really good. I also finished a graphic novel that I'll talk to you guys about a little bit later. Today on the way home, Jeff and I went to go get some iced tea at one of my favorite coffee shops, and I was like, ooh, we're right by the mall. I want to run in because there are these viral candles that I've been wanting and I knew the store Francesca's had them online so I went to check and they had them. So they're these little soda pop looking candles and they have like a little silicone lid. It's so cute. It looks like a soda can. So this is the orange cream and I got cherry cola and I got one more that's like a strawberry one. These have been like viral online because people could find them at Home Goods because this was like a DW brand and they had bigger ones but they only had the tiny ones there at the store. They smell really good too. I thought originally they were going to be tin but they're actually glass and I just, I don't know, I thought they were so cute for summer so I stopped in and got those. We went and had lunch that you saw earlier and overall we're having a good day. I'm actually feeling very rejuvenated. We did such a long hike and I was like feeling tired. I don't know. It just refreshed me and kind of woke me up. I've been seeing so many studies talking about how exercise will actually help with allergies despite it being outdoors which is not the best because your blood flow will help flush out the pollen faster and I have been experiencing that. I have such bad seasonal allergies and we got so much rain that there's so much stuff blooming but I've been doing like a ton of hikes and doing pretty good for how much I'm being outside and I think it's the exercise. So that has been amazing. It could also just be that I'm very happy with the readathon and happiness helps everything. Those are the updates for now. I think we're just hanging out here tonight. I'm gonna go read some more of my book. I have some more vlogs to edit. I have two more vlogs to edit and then I'm done. We might watch a movie or something later. I'm gonna listen to my audiobook at some point. Overall, having a great day and I'll see you guys soon. Morning and happy hackathon day 14. It is 8 a.m. on Sunday morning and we are getting ready to head out the door to do our last hike of the readathon, I think. I may do a small one by myself tomorrow, depending on how hard this one is. We are spending most of the day at my parents, but we're going to go hike this new trail somewhat near them, like 25 minutes from them, called Hellhole Canyon because when it gets warmer, the area gets extremely hot because of the way that it's shaped, like <laughs> the hot air comes in. So they actually close it off in June because it gets crazy, crazy hot, like 20 to 30 degrees hotter. Can you come explain hellhole? What? Can you explain why, why hellhole gets hotter? I why? <laughs> I'm trying to explain why hellhole gets hotter and they close it down. <laughs> oh, it's in the middle of a desert. Okay, but it gets hotter than the temperature. I don't know. <laughs> she put me on the spot. Okay, never mind. They close it in three days. You're supposed to know things. <laughs> I, I didn't know how I was supposed to be Googling. It does get hotter in this area, but it gets hotter than the temperature surrounding the area for some reason. So anyway, we're going to go check it out. It's like a 12 mile trail. We are not doing that. I don't feel like doing anything crazy hard, so we'll see how it is. I'm bringing Revenge in the Wild with me to read. I think I'm at the 100 page mark. And then I have 30 minutes left in Small Game, which I'm going to finish in the car ride. I'm very much enjoying it. The wilderness survival part is definitely there. The pacing is just a tiny bit slow, I feel like, for how short of a book it is. The survival wilderness vibes is great. I'm having the best time with my survival reads this year, and normally those are the ones that are kind of hit or miss because I want something specific and like all of them are kind of hitting these like vibes and things that I want. So I put a poll up to decide my next book. I am not sure if I'm going to finish even The Darkest Stars for this readathon. I think I might finish it after the readathon since it's so long and I don't know that I'll have a lot of listening time today. So I think I'm going to do one or two more short audios and then my physical book and call it good to go. I still feel motivated to finish out the readathon strong even though I have done great with hiking and reading and posting and all that stuff. So we're going to go hike take you with us, hang out with my parents, maybe play our game again, and just have a good day. We're here, and it's 57 degrees. <laughs> and this is supposed to be like one of the hottest places, like they're closing it in like three days. I don't know what's happening, you guys. It was like 87 last year at this time. I'm freaking cold, and I'm in shorts, but it's cool. And it might rain. It was raining earlier, so.
and happy hikeathon at day 15. It is Monday at 2 p.m. and I'm just now checking in. I am so exhausted. Yesterday when I was at my mom's we sat on the couch for a minute and I fell asleep and I have not like taken a nap fallen asleep kind of tired for like eight months. So I only got like 20 minutes. <laughs> we were so worn out probably not just from the one hike but just from the whole week and then the allergies are kind of bad. All that being said I did finish a book last night or yesterday. I finished Small Game which I was buddy reading with a couple friends. I loved the wilderness reality setting. The atmosphere was fantastic which is because the author was actually a contestant on Naked and Afraid I think and she's like dog sledded before so she like nailed the atmosphere the vibes of this book so well and I was just so excited to figure out like what went wrong with the reality show and everything but then about the halfway point the plot kind of took a turn which I expected but then it kind of got slow and it focused a little bit more on a romance and then we got to the end and it didn't answer any of the questions or like the mystery that was being set up and I was just kind of left like oh man that sucks so I enjoyed it and I would still recommend it if you really love these nature -y vibes but it just was a little bit of a letdown for me so about a three star then I put a poll up on Instagram and the perfect escape won the vote so I started this last night. I did not get very far in, maybe 40 minutes. I have just under three hours left. I do not know if I'm going to be able to finish it today because I am so worn out and I have no motivation to garden like I was planning because it's raining and I just want to like chill. We're going to see if we can get at least a little bit into this. I'm not loving it so far. The premise of this is that there are two people that work at this zombie themed escape room and they're signing up for this like survivalist competition and I think they're gonna fall in love. I'm not loving the writing style so far. It just feels more middle grade to me than young adult and I'm pretty sure this is young adult. Literally like calling their little brother like fart face and stuff which I was just like okay. I haven't gotten to the nature competition yet so I'm hoping I will like it more once that picks up because I'm just not loving it. I'm not a big contemporary person anyway. I need some kind of a shtick so I'm hoping that will make me enjoy it more. I'm still only 100 pages into Revenge in the Wild. I did so good with my physical reading the first week and then it just kind of like <laughs> went downhill. Not bad. I still read a ton of things and it's still going well overall, but I just haven't physically read anymore. I haven't had like the full brain power for it. So I'm going to try to read a little bit more of this today. Again, I don't think I'm going to finish it today because I also have to edit vlogs and things. It's the only bummer about this readathon is I have a lot of editing to do. We've also got Mermaid Marathon coming up so I'm like prepping for that so just a lot going on. I had started this one as well but I'm not going to finish that until next week. I decided just to not mess with it even though I'm really liking it. Okay all that being said we went and had breakfast today with my family at one of our favorite breakfast places. We had a good time. Jeff took me to Home Goods. I didn't find anything that I needed and then we just came home and we've been chilling most of the day. I already had decided that we weren't going to go on a hike today and I think that's still the plan. I'm going to give myself a day of rest. So I will probably check in with you one more time before we close out this vlog once I've read a little bit more and see what we can kind of get done today. That is my update for right now. Hey guys, so it is now Wednesday and I am just now checking in. I just crashed a whole bunch on Monday pretty hard but I did manage to get one more book in. So I did finish The Perfect Escape by Suzanne Park on audio and I didn't like it. Unfortunately, this is almost my least favorite read of the readathon. I just wanted a lot more of that survival nature competition and it was barely in there. It was just a lot more about the characters and their background and them like falling for each other. It was also like super instant lovey and more on the younger end of YA. Obviously I'm an adult, so I'm not the target audience. I don't love contemporary, so this is more of a me thing than anything. Unfortunately this was like a 2.5 for me personally. So overall I finished I think 19 books for the readathon. So I'm going to show them all here combining audios. I'm not sure on the audio versus physical. I know I only read two actual physical books and then a few graphic novels and all the rest of them were audiobooks. Overall I think 
This is my favorite readathon I've ever done. I got a ton of hikes in. I enjoyed almost all of the books that I read. We had so many people participating. We did so many fun things. I feel like I did good keeping up with the vlogs and posting them and overall I was just in a great mood. I did get very worn out because we were doing like a ton of hiking and things but that's okay. So I'm gonna wrap this video up here because I will have a hikeathon reading wrap up where I go over all the books, my thoughts and feelings on them, and all of that jazz. That should be up tomorrow, fingers crossed. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time on the bright side. Mm -hmm.